Good morning. How you doing? I just need to finish off something. These two things, pull that up. And we're good. We're good to keep going. Okay. So last time we at least brought the what am I standing on? Ah, okay. Interesting. We at least brought the circuit boards back uh, sorry the quartz back here so what we can do this time is actually get to the point of building those crystal oscillators so that'll be the aim alright uh, I don't have any iron plates left Alright, let's also go drop off the um, whatever materials we collected and um, so on. Alright. You can set off the um, research in the man. Power slugs. Oh. All right, let's go grab a spot of wire, and then we should be okay. It might be the last time, or next, close to the last time, that we can go over here and grab wire. At some point, we'll have to transport the sulfur back here. It's not at the moment. It's when we need to start making batteries. Right. Cool, cool, cool. So, don't have anything else here. Let's destroy that. Oh, look at that nice little statue. Still have a bunch of wires in here, but I'm pretty sure that's empty. So. All right, we'll keep the wire around. search tree now I'm interested okay so that makes five right it's kind of sad that the first one that you get you know you really don't get to use it anyway we still don't have anything around the gas filter but okay um Was it that? I think that's the criterion. Yeah. I mean, we can unlock this anytime we want now, really. Uh, but we 
don't really need to right now since we are making something else. Right, so let's look at the... What is it called? Uh, quartz crystal. So how does that end up getting made? In a constructor? Yes, okay. So that's how that works. Crystal oscillator. And I assume this gets done in a manufacturer. Let's see. I'm going to leave a manufacturer set up over here. So we can always check it. Yeah, it does get made here. Radio control unit gets made in this as well. Okay. Cool. Take that. So what we'll need is, let's say, logistics. Let's clear all this. Um, I don't know, probably like a hundred of these. And like a hundred of these. And then we need like, let's say, 12 of these. I didn't pay attention to um, to like the, the rates here. I'm, and then I'm going to sort of put down 20 manufacturers. Um, let's say 100 foundations. Um, what else? We probably need like 40 of these. Maybe like 100 here. That's probably it. Uh, usually you also need like a bunch of these. Let's say 40 of these and 40 of these as well. Um, that should be it. So we need a bunch more wire, some motors, plastics, heavy frames. Okay. So, we can get most of this material near the top of the tower, of our production tower, which is ever getting taller. Um, I will grab the plastic from the source over here. to the top and collect the rest of these materials. Well, let's go to the second from the top. Start there. Still have plenty of concrete. That's pretty good. right there. Then 
we need to look for somewhere that has wires. I'm pretty sure we have wires on this level. Especially since we don't need to use the encased industrial beam anymore. Alright, looks like we are definitely building them. And are we getting the encased industrial beams delivered? Yes. To just get the uh, crystals up. Well, we'll put down the next level first. Wow. So it's a bunch of constructors. We will need to build supercomputers at some point as well. Might also be close, close to the time where we need another hyperloop to get us up here. Maybe after the next couple of levels. So it's quite a trek up here. The last tube is like right there. So Alright. So this will just need three This is just going to be producing the quartz crystals or whatever. Yes, we don't really need the um, multiple um, power poles. one line for now. This is the exit. Mm, okay. Oops, let's do this. Connect these together. Let's see. Alright, so just take about five. Oh, I guess you can get upgraded. Why not? Let's try and see where 
square distance to get to. Right, let's try that. need to drag that over that hurt okay let's get that to here and then I'm going to guess that it's going to work like this nope oops so one close up probably just in this um So, I don't think I'm going to put down, oh, um, pretty sure that I put storage down. Alright, I'll do that in a minute. Um, turned, now, I want to put the storage there to indicate why it's there and to also have sort of two drawing into it. Alright, so the production line is going to start like production, constructor, I think it's going to be like this. So what we'll do, so we need a splitter, put that there, um, quartz crystal. Let's see what makes this straight. Okay, somewhere there. Okay, that's pretty good. So then it's to here, and then it's a merger on the outside, and then it's a storage organization, storage container. So what are the rates here? 37 and a half. Um, I think we should build this to 480. Like how fast is this conveyor belt? 780. Oh, interesting. So it's not actually 960. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's build this to 480. So 480 divided by 37. Point five. Okay, we need twelve of these then. Let's do thirteen of these. All right. Ah, let's do twelve. I'll do twelve. Oops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. back let's set all of these to make quartz crystals don't actually know okay so there's no 
nothing else that you could want to do with this. It's only making quartz crystals. Interesting that this Mark V conveyor belt isn't twice as fast as the Mark IVs. I wonder how much faster the final miner is um, compared to the one that we currently have, so the Mark III versus the Mark II. quite a ways away before we unlock that one. So okay here we go. And then it's going to be uh, the oscillators on the next level. Okay. Glad that went in the right way. of this stuff getting produced which is good okay so before we stop with this let's put in did we do that down here yeah we did okay cool might have to get rid of this and this storage this just makes sure that you know things get unloaded very fast and there isn't an interruption to supply um, whilst the you know whilst things get unloaded here because essentially we have twice the input being moved from here to here compared to the output all right interesting this is getting emptied out like super fast which is exactly what we want to see all right and now in a minute it's going to stop actually coming out here can see that but since we have this supply you know our production lines are still um, getting supplied with input materials and since we have two belts feeding out um, you know we still have plenty of storage in here right so um, okay we couldn't unload everything that's why it put some stuff back 
but soon enough, you know, it'll all get unloaded into some of these containers here. And now it's getting filled up again. Right. Good. And now the next step is the oscillators. This is five. Get that back. Maybe it's six. Yeah, it's six. All right. So on this level, we will make the oscillators. Oscillators up through the floor here. So on here we'll go backwards. So let's put down the manufacturer. Um, well, organization. At some point, I feel like switching, you know, some of these productions to separate locations that are a little bit aggregated, right? Like create a steel plant, maybe create an iron plant, that sort of stuff, right? right let's see, is there anything that we don't need? Don't need these presents. Maybe the f when we run low on steel, you know, we'll move the steel production out of this building and just have it get delivered instead, right? And have like a dedicated steel production site. And when we run low on the iron production, we'll do the same for that. So anything that you can just produce with iron, we can do the same with copper, right? When, when and if we run low on that. I don't remember what materials the remote control. 
control units used. They probably use, oh no, the oscillators first of all. Um, I mean, I know that they use quartz, but then I don't know what else. What are the rates here? 18 per minute quartz cable reinforced iron plate. All right. Let's at least get the production going. Hmm. See, what I'm thinking about right now is that we could. So we have iron ore. You know, the steel plant is probably better over here because the materials are close to each other and then we just deliver this, the output to here. And what we could do with all of this iron ore over here is just connect it up um, and make all of the materials. Which is the plates, the what are the key iron materials? The rods, the plates, reinforced iron plate. frames as well. So it's kind of four materials, right? One, two, well, five. So we would have a station with sort of five slots here, and it would just deliver all those materials to here. to double up on whatever um, production lines we have down there already. And if we need more of a material, we just sort of bring it over here and, you know, maybe use the second slot or whatever, or add another wagon to it or something like that. I mean, the iron plates we're not going to, probably not going to need again. So maybe we just, since we need like the reinforced iron plate, maybe that's what we produce. Mm. I don't know. We should probably, well, let's go and see how the reinforced iron plate production looks. Well, I know that it ran out before though. So I know we were low on it earlier. Anyway, let's go check on it and, and see, rather than speculate. Well, okay, hang on. Let's look at what actually needs the reinforced iron plate. I'd love to see, like, all the things that it's used for, but I don't think it's telling me that. Well, anyway, we can just go see where we're delivering it at the moment. Right. 
plastic. Right, it wouldn't be here. This is the screw production. Okay, this is the reinforced iron plate production. I mean, it's kind of full. Well, not really, actually. So we are using a lot of it already. Alright, so let's do this then. Let's um, change. And we'll, we keep this in place, right? Everything that's here, but then any future demand has to come from the new site. And yes, we will put it next to the current sources of iron ore if we need to scale that production in a big way you know we will just ship more iron ore to there all right shouldn't have actually gone up now And I'm not going to like deliver all of the basic materials. I'm just going to deliver what we actually need. Right, so how about we go up, put down an industrial storage container so that we have all of the materials to keep to finish off the build. Then we have, you know, then we can go collect all the materials, the other materials that we need. Yeah, and I'm going to leave this, no, sorry, the higher station, yeah, so this station to be able to deliver the steel, and then um, we'll build the third station on top to deliver all the iron ore, and I guess, you know, at some point we'll have to also go downwards, but the other thing, I actually, we really need to do the same for the copper. Um, as well, um, since we are going to need cables again and so on. Um, I don't know, is there like a. I mean, there's one copper right there. Is there like a group of three somewhere? Let's turn off the iron ore for a minute. It's a group of two. Oh, look, there's a group of three over here. So this is the one that. We would probably base our copper production like over here and then again like ship the ship the material home the produced materials over here to the complex manufacturing all right so what do we need let's clear this i think we'll need like Let's say 20 of these, 20 of these, don't need any of that, probably need like 40 of these, and then I know we need just three of those. In terms of this, probably need quite a few lifters here, let's say 200 of these belts. Um, okay. Transportation, we definitely need an electric locomotive. Maybe four of them because we'll probably need two, you know, one on the back and one on the front to be able to get up that slope. And what did we say? I think five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then two train stations. of these freight platforms oops probably like 20 of these and then like 200 railways all right and then you know, like 20 of three more like 50 and like 200 here 
All right. Okay, so what do we not need here? Do we need the heavy modular frames? Yes, but no, not as many. Do we need the... Yeah, not as many again. So let's just take 50 here. Um, we don't need the plastic. Plastic. Do we need the rotors? Yeah, but not as many. Let's put like that many back. Motors. Okay. Yeah, we do need quite a few of those. Okay. Need plenty of concrete. Well, that's actually something that I hadn't put in. So we need some reinforced iron plates, some rods, some steel pipes and so on. We also need more of that alkaline and down. Okay, cool. So let's start backwards with the alkaline. It should be being produced right here. scale this production quite nicely. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, don't need this. Do need these computers. Um, okay, Got plenty of those. And what are we missing? Okay, we're missing steel reinforced plates. I think that the reinforced plates we can grab from yeah from here. Okay, good. Is that enough? Yep. Yeah. Let's put back a hundred even. Okay, and then we need to go down to the steel level. this and then we need to go back up. Let's see, do we still have all the materials? Okay, I think this is going to be like just iron plates, which we have plenty of, and the iron rods, which we have plenty of as well. Okay, good. Looking forward to this. I'm also glad that we are doing it over there. 
and I don't have to like fix up all the other production lines. And over there it'll be much more easy to scale because um, you know it's not embedded in so much other stuff. Now the key question is, well, we can move this, bring this forward a bunch. So, yeah, right. I'm going to take a quick break and then I'll be back one day.
right, let's keep going. So I'm <coughs> going to aim um, I'm going to aim to get to um, 400, no, 240 production here. Right. <clears throat> It's going to be hard to extend it on the back, but it'll be easier to extend it on the front. So maybe so if we go forward by what one maybe two? Alright, we can go forward by about two here. So we'll start these walls here. I think it's like six or something like that. Four. Okay. Maybe it's five. Let's build it from the top here. Six, I was right. Is that right? I think so. Alright, cool. So then that's where the next station is going to go. So that's good to go. Okay. This is the track part of it. So let's put down <coughs> the train station. Okay. That works. Then fried platforms, let's see. One, two. two. So yeah, that's the, you know, potentially how many mat iron based materials we need to deliver to here. It's all unloading. And these trains are going to be impressive in terms of their length. Now we have to figure out how this all connects back up. Alright. 
So it needs to be one further, <coughs> one further out than this. Okay, so this is where we're going backwards over here. And the downward starts. This is going to be foundations ramp. So where does the okay, transportation just want to know where the first the next okay, so we have to get rid of this and maybe draw this to here and then So that's all good. And now we can put another signal right there, right? So let's put it. So where does it start? Okay, it starts right here. So that's sort of started straight bit right here. And then it just needs to go yeah, to here. This is why we will have to have quite a few locomotives um, on here. So it's going to be quite steep. I mean, it's too steep. That sucks. So you can't do it with those four. have to do it with the twos. Alright, so let's see if we can fit this. I don't know if we can. We might have to build like a spiral. This is fun. Well, actually... So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it's two more down there. No, three more. So it's ten. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then twelve. Okay. Hmm. So what we might have to do well, I mean we can always so we essentially need four more spaces we can like go past that one up there complicated. It sucks that it can't like, go up this incline. Is it really? Can it really not? Yeah, it's too steep. Hmm. 
So I mean the other thing that we can do is we can just So we have three down there and then we just need one up here. So I think that we can just do this. I think this will work. Let's see. We'll get rid of that in a minute. Right. So what we can do here is actually something like this. So it sort of joins over there, right? So I'm sure this is lined up. One, two, three. So that's to finish the corner. Then it's, you know, architecture. Right. Foundations, ramp, two pieces. We just have to meet it like down there. This essentially meets up, right? So transportation. Now this is going to be hard here. Come on. So that works, which is great. Okay. Okay, so we have to draw this all the way to here. That's going to go away in a minute. Okay. Oh boy. This is going to be a little bit of a tight turn. So let's get it to here. something like this. Alright, and then... Oops. Alright, cool. So now that's connected. And yes, we need, we need a signal on here as well. And preferably sooner rather than later. Okay. So let's put a signal right here. I don't know how you would do a spiral. Maybe turn would be anyway we don't need to worry about that too much <laughs> a 
times to 10. No. I'll call this iron. Iron delivery. And. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be rip. Reinforced iron plates. Is all the. We'll deliver here for now. Alright, so. That's pretty close to it there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're gonna have to be doing interest be doing interesting things on this side. And that we probably need to come back. To essentially like right here to do the downward distance and we have to be one in from that Essentially, we just need to start the downwards right here a little bit. Okay, let's give it them this. But yeah, then we maybe do two. All right, let's draw the track here. And then we just have to get it down. things is that this needs to go like this well what we could do is actually see what this does okay cool let's see what this does sharp of a turn. So we just have to get this a little bit. One, two, one, two. We have to get... Okay. So we'll put it to here then. Let's see. Let's 
it's not straight. Okay, so that's allowed. Cool. I wonder if I could have just like put this bit down and then connected it to over there. I don't know. All right. Okay, one, two, three. one, two, three. So we'll have to be a slightly generous on this side here. It's too sharp of a turn. I think two and a half is as sharp as you can make it. So we'll have to put this to here. Okay. So then up here, it's actually probably more like um, foundations one meter ramp. Yeah, I think that's pretty close. Close enough anyway. Dealing with some very tight tolerances here. start that way later. Anyway, I think this will be fine still. Should be fine. Because we can just join it slightly later to the main track. It's going to be hard to branch the um, downward tracks. Maybe we have to branch them from like these ones here. Like f out there and out here. Also got this bit wrong. Okay. Is this low? No, I don't think so. No. So transportation. So we have another opportunity right there. So how about we put this bit of track in, and then we try and hook this into here. have to draw this up to some distance. Okay, and then a block signal. Right there. Okay. 
So that's just sort of what we want for the most part. <laughs> this is all one block. It's just about distributing all the trains up here and getting them to deliver. All right, so the next question is, where is the iron ore? Should be like, yeah, let's see where it should be. Disable this and enable this. Um, this is where our coal is, so it should be directly west of our coal. Right. So it should be like somewhere over there. I actually wonder how much benefit we're getting from connecting these up, but we'll see. Right. Next time a train comes through here, we'll we'll catch that train. Well, we're getting quite a bit of benefit. Essentially, you know, it's all of this track that we don't have to put down again. So it might still be a couple more blocks. Um, okay, here we go. Um, right, so um, we'll jump off here. And I think it should be like down here somewhere. You can see it down there, I think. Yeah, right there. Okay, so I've gone a little bit too far. So maybe we put the All right, we'll put the intersection like right in front of this bit. Hello. Okay. Well actually this already points west, right? So we'll put the intersection like just past this signal. So this is this track. Um, okay. I'll let that train through and then I'll make this a bit shorter. The other thing we'll do is we'll put a block signal right here. Right, and then we just have to... So this is going to be the other track. Um, 
don't remember how high you have to go. Let's see. Okay, I need to put on the... This thing. So this is the track. So let's go back. One, two, three, four. Right, let's try. Ooh. Actually, would prefer this bit here. Okay. So let's try and put the intersection. Go. Let's put this to here. Oops, that's wrong. Okay. That's good again. Well, I'll put one foundation down. One, two, three, four. I'm going to assume it's four. Four looks about right. Okay. Transportation. So we'll have to do it on the next one. Uh, ramp. One, two, three, four. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to do here. should put like signals right in front of this but not right after right after is a bad idea some distance after. Well, I think this is fine. So the important bit is um, that trains go like all the way up to an intersection. But then on the other side of the intersection, it's okay for there to be a bigger block. All right. So now, is this high enough? like a couple more right. and then let's turn around one two three okay and then it just needs to drift back over We'll do that on the downward slope. All right. One, two, three. Okay. Let's bring this to. Ok, 
Okay, so what we'll do here... And then... Foundations... Two meter ramps. Oh, actually, this is too early for them. So we need to cross the track first. Well, we're still going broadly in the right direction. Well, and I guess we can just maintain this distance between the two, so then we have a turnaround space already. Yeah, I don't really mind that too much. Right. Now, where's the iron? So we'll definitely have the station on that side. Right, let's do the ramps. I think it was six. Should have done this a while ago, but anyway. If we get this wrong, it wouldn't be very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So when the iron ore is like directly south, that's when we'll want to do our turnaround. Okay, so sort of around here. Well, we probably want to go past it a little bit. Like to here maybe. Wonder if the enemy's down there. Then, one, two, three, okay, cool. Now this is where it's a little bit harder because you really need to, let's tr put the um, track in. You really need to know exactly where that one came through. One, two, three. up. No, that wasn't quite right. Whatever. Yeah. So instead of that, we'll just put the one meter foundations here. Sorry, the one meter ram. So then it looks a little bit better. to go straight now. Okay. Now it should be straight. Nice. This is usually why I like to draw the tracks next to each other. then, you know, we can build it a little bit faster. Okay, so that's connected.
if there are enemies down there that I'll have to deal with. We will need to double that production, the power plant, pretty soon as well. And for that, we'll need a few power shards. Probably two of them. Alright. Yeah, and we'll make these, you know, we'll, we'll have a vertical factory here as well. Um, okay. So that's why I'll need to connect up the, like, build a factory kind of first here. So, the first step here now is to build down, oh hang on, so if we want the station to be here, it's going to be this wide and then step forward one, and this is where we can then start the downwards. Um, ramp. Okay, and I'm going to do this slightly differently. So that it's all lined up and then I'll do the factory from you know from this side like on this side we'll have the factory and these are just the stairs that are winding back and forward backwards and forwards oh I do need the track over here actually because um, I need the power That's a good prompt for me to finish off the the track. Uh, well, the problem here is that I will need quite a bit of foundations to put down the station. So we'll just have to go back. Well, we can always... Nah, we'll just walk back. I was thinking that we could put down the track, but... It's probably not worth it right now. Alright. I am excited put this together. What? Oh, it's a present. I thought it was a train that was lying on its side. <laughs> train any minute. Actually, I should be um, delivering the plates and rods 
as well because they are building materials plates, rods and modular frames so I can just go up here and pick up the material from storage Those are some of the key building materials as well. So, all right, let's see. Nope. 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 Not really. And here we go. All right, we're still kind of okay on concrete, but let's grab a bunch more. will be plates. Okay, we go. All right. I should go grab my psyllium at some stage as well because there's another thing that gives me more, in more inventory slots, another piece of research. But, yeah. The filters. Um, give inventory slots, so that'll make it easier for us to build for longer periods of time without getting interrupted. go and collect more materials. Don't like that you can't just hold down space and then you get back to the maximum distance. But anyway. No, I shouldn't have actually come up here, there's no point. Is that right? And there we go. least we can draw this track for a certain distance. Maybe not the full distance. Because I don't know exactly where the station is going to be and how long it needs to be. Alright. I think we can probably draw it one more of these. And then we need to leave space for the station. Right, now I don't know exactly where the station is going to end, so.
Okay, train station. And we'll actually get the trains running as well. Why, why won't you let me? Okay, here we go. And yeah, the train fight platform. Okay, one. So this is going to be, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Let's add one more thing here because we'll probably have to walk around it every now and then. All right. We'll call this iron. Iron. And it's going to be, what? Rods? Um, plates, rods, iron plates, reinforced iron plates, IP. Um, modular frames, <laughs> modular frames, and um, I don't think we're gonna do screws. Are we gonna do screws? I think we will do screws. Okay, let's see. Do. Modular frames. I'll get rid of the plate. That's how this is going to work. Let's connect up the railway, get the get the things going. Okay, so for each of the export materials we'll be aiming for two forty into it. Um, and then, you know, the rest is, oh, I did this completely wrong. Okay, that's fine. It's easy enough to fix. Because all we have to do is disconnect that train station. So the important thing for the station is that the train can enter, uh, stops just before the station, you know, on that side. And here we'll put like one signal between. Okay, so you're good. Wherever you go, you'll get presents littered all around you. this iron um, plates uh, modular frames reinf reinforced iron plates oh it's actually IP isn't it iron oh no it's PL that's right plates reinforced iron plates modular frames um, screws and rods. Uh, okay. This is all load. Okay, cool. And then I need to put another freight platform right here.
it's just connecting these around. And then we want a block signal like right here. Right. And then one like in in the middle here somewhere. Somewhere past all these presents. They really land them like on your level as well. So they have a pretty good algorithm. <laughs> To make sure that you have access to the f the presence. Anyway, all right. Put another signal here. That one's fine. And I assume all right. You should just put a signal somewhere like past. The intersection so it doesn't overlap too much. Let's put a signal like right here. And then we'll also put like another signal like between here. We'll just have two trains doing this run here for now. Wow. Landed on right on the edge there. Like, there aren't any presents down there. Oh no. I guess they just throw a lot of them at you and then they get lucky. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good algorithm as well. Okay, so the way this is going to work is one. This is going to do edit timetable. Okay, so it should start at iron delivery and go there. No, that's really bad. Oh no, that's right. Then I'll send another one. Okay, so it's gonna wait for that. All right, let's put another train together. One. Look at that massive train. Timetable, iron delivery, save changes, turn on self driving. Okay, and I'll write this one back, fix up the name of that station up there. So 
See, this is why we have to be careful with the block sizes. Because if we make the blocks too small, then these trains don't fit in. That train is just a party. So it's good to see that it can accelerate up this hill with these two locomotives. so I can't mess with them. Okay, so now I can... Uh, IND. So, what we have here is the plates. Modular frames. The screws. And... Reinforced iron plates, plates, screws, and the rods. What happened? Rods and screws. Oh. I and D. We'll get rid of the brackets. Okay. Is there a train in here? No. I just want to see whether the two line up. Okay, there is a, the other train. There's a train just waiting right there. That's fine. You know, it just needs to work for now. We might take off some. Okay, modular frames, plates, reinforced iron plates, rods and screws. Might take off some of the one train from the bottom. You know, I think that should help. Hang around at this intersection here so we can catch one of the trains that we want to delete. self-driving and then remove it. Oh, I could have deleted that one as well. Alright. Alright, let's stop this one. that one had just had like a huge number of trains on it which is why you know it's not really necessary let's sort these they're like moving around full anyway all right very cool
much of a point in all of the... Well, it should be going a little bit smoother now. Interesting that that one goes red. Before that one. I just want to see one of the trains going the other way, on its own. Hmm, it's going to be a while before I get to see that. See how that one goes red? Oh, I guess it reserves a little bit ahead of itself, so that, you know, it has time to break. That's probably what's going on. Like, it reserves the track earlier than it actually hits the signal, so it has time to actually slow down to zero. Oh boy, I don't want to get carried around by you. Okay, so that got train got caught, but not for long. It's going to be hard to put more trains onto this part of the track. Very hard. But they also should sort of smooth themselves out over time. Okay. Water save in the middle of the year. have power over here. That's cool. Oh, and there's another power slug over there. That's also pretty cool. Okay. One, two, three. Still don't know if the enemy is here. Maybe I've already cleared them out. have to figure out the iron ore delivery as well over here at some point but anyway I think for now we should be good right, given that I already have a like power line over here we should be okay in terms of enemies Let's grab that power slug. Can I stand on top of it? Yes. <laughs> All right, so this is the location for our iron. Pretty sure that's the iron wall right here. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so the first one Well all of it has to go to the first level to get melted. So let's make this the smelting level. See, there's a kind of good trees all over it. Anyway, we 
we'll make, we'll just go above the tree line here. There we go. Not quite. Okay, that's good. I want to connect the plates all the way to the top first. Right. Alright, then let's draw that backwards a little bit and then we'll get the first iron ore up here. stretch this one iron ore. And let's make this like the equipment shed location and the entry point for um, you know the iron ore select thing. Alright so we need six of these. Again it would be really much better if these stacked so they don't take so much inventory space. For Tell me how much iron ore do you produce? 240. Okay. So if that only produces 240, let's say the next, the third one produces 480. Alright. Okay, cool. So this is going to. to be building in a lot of storage other than like a buffer before we deliver you know all right so let's see what we can do here let's do this We want to get to 240. 
seven, eight. Okay. Let's set these to iron ingots. Now. Actually, I would prefer to like use all of the rather than dedicate certain pieces of production, I would like to share all of it as much as possible. So every level just like needs to, um, you know, do its do every f uh, take all of the material um, and process all of it at the maximum rates. We'll just let the demand dictate, you know, where it goes. So that essentially means that, you know, we can go to the screw production that's going to be very interesting like every time it'll just be um, like full output which will be quite cool all right merger So essentially it means that, you know, we need to reserve the verticality for these materials to just go to every single floor. Which also means that I can now connect essentially everything end to end just on the basis of this thing here right all right so we need to go up three cool so let's take this to the limit you guys should be able to produce all of the iron materials here then all we need to do you know on the with the other iron or input is that we just either go to from 240 to 480 right which is probably the first step and the only thing is that when I upgrade these to mark 2 and uh, mark 3s they're probably going to 480 so That's why I don't want to do that right now. I would do, like to do that once we upgrade these guys. Okay, so. Just take. My about hole. Okay, so it's going to be like one bag. Whilst this arrives here, we need to put down a splitter on the entrance, right? And then keep lifting this up to the next level to act as further input. 
Alright, so on this level we'll do the plates. We'll do it sort of back. Well. No. Um, well, actually, I think this is occupied now, this slot. We can occupy the other slot on that side um, for this ma next material. Well, actually, no, we should put it right next to this one. So we should come back here and lift from here, you know? Um, all right, so let's do that. So what are we going to do here? Production, constructor. We'll do the iron plates. Again, we need eight, I believe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's put iron plates into this. just on the input two three four again I don't need to be counting here Okay, so now that all sort of distributes that material. So what we need to do is go up three and start the next level so that I can, you know, keep lifting all the materials. One, two, three. Here we go. This output needs to go to like right 
Well, it can go to here, and then it can go to here. maybe to uh, about to here. Let's see. Okay, so that works. And that's the plates. And now what we need foundations for meters. Logistics. Right, so on every level, we'll just assume that the full rates are coming through here, right? So this is still going to be assumed to be 240, and this is going to be assumed to be um, 2 times 8, 160, right? All right, so on the next level, we'll do rods. Um, and then it'll just be sort of luck of the, well, demand based how much we end up with. Okay. So on this level, we only really need to exit the um, ingots. turn them into rods so production constructor well, let's put down a splitter actually we can just make the first splitter of the system be the one that actually does the distribution okay. to the next level up as well We need power. Okay. To here. Okay. We can make the iron rods. Go up one level, one, two, three. I can't afford this, but that's okay because we already have the plates. that I really need. Uh, but this will look better if I do this. At least if I put the basics in so I know, like I'll put the outside pieces in and then I know that I just need to fill it in on each of the different levels. Um, okay, so I can go. Okay, and then we'll just fill in the parts that we actually need. So it'll be sort of this part. Um, and on this level, we'll, we're going to be producing screws. So. All right, okay, cool. So logistics, conveyor belt hole. will just bypass okay foundations okay 
Okay, so that's how that works. What we'll do down here. Let's just fix this up because that's not really necessary. for the input, so um, N240 divided by 15, so that's 16 that we'll need here, quite a lot. All right, production, construct, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, only extend the ones that we really need here. Oh, now I'm out of concrete. Okay, what I'll do... Alright, let's do it from one level up so we can more easily see what we're doing. And the other thing we can do, I believe, is over here. Okay. So that should save a bunch. And then we'll do the same up here. Okay, let's do it from one level up. need to be careful I don't delete something from underneath here. I think I did anyway. So the reason I'm leaving the skeleton in place is so that I know what the limits will be um, as I'm building this. Like this is where I'm planning to expand it to. Alright, cool. So what do we have? One, two, three, three and one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, hang on. Is this the right level? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit another eight in here. We'll see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. Okay, so let's set all of these to make the rods. System down? No. So it's one for one. So only the iron plates are slightly reduced. time boosting this rod production because we're already right at this wall so we might have to go forward as well which is fine when we get this to 480 you know that's when we'll need to essentially double all of the levels two more levels to go here. Right. Actually three more. It's the screws, then the reinforced plates, and then the um, modular frames. for the screws rather than the rods so you want to use like the most raw material that you can right the least processed to save power anything by skipping the rods um, for the screws. So that's fine. And we're not going to be stacking vertically, we're going to go horizontal um, for the screw output to make it easier to manage. Cool. So 
So now it's 240 rods per minute as well. Alright, so next up is screws. So that's all good. That's lifting. Alright. Just takes... Well, we need to actually go to next up. One, two, three. Yeah, still got fourteen hundred concrete. All right, let's draw the limits. Then I just need to come back with more concrete, I guess. Um, let's sort of fill in the blanks here. Now we only need to put this bit in, then we can do that other bit later. Okay. Like build that out later. This is going to be the reinforced plates. So, okay, let's put in the splitter. that we're going to need on here. Okay, constructor is what we need. Okay. Power. Didn't see, didn't look at the rates. Uh, actually, we need okay, logistics. We'll need another one, probably two. Let's put it two. Um, um, right, I'll wait for. So how much input material? Twelve and a half per minute. So two forty divided by twelve point five, nineteen point two. That's a lot. Um, and times fifty, nine sixty divided by two forty four. Okay. So we would essentially end up with four. Four rows of screws here. Which makes sense. Two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now the problem is going to be how we get all of those in there. Well, actually, it's not too bad because what we can do, oops, this one can just go like this, right? And then this next one up is going to be like 
essentially two above this and we can put one in the front and one in the side. So that'll be all good. It's just a question of... Well, we can draw it backwards and then just wrap it around again. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we need 19.6, so 20 here. Let's see how far backwards we can get these guys. This is the biggest level that we have to do. It's one, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, just had an idea. So instead of this, those two, it's going to be on this side. So it just takes right. So it'll be here. We'll draw this like that. This like that. Yes, we'll have to figure things out over here, but that's okay. Maybe three. Okay. Now there is one slight problem. Um, and that will probably have to just start back by one. What's this? Okay, good. Connected these up exactly the way that we want them to. Essentially, this needs to be the um, like giving it back, and then we put like ten constructors. Um, okay, merger. Now it's just 10. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then we can have the same thing on the other side, you know? Right, so let's do a split cell. And then we, you know, why would clipping occur? Essentially, we only have to do this once on what, what we're doing right now. Then we can just reuse this bit on the other side, which is nice. Okay, and then we do merge 
images here. So this setup means that, you know, rather than have underutilized production lines, we should have fully more fully utilized production lines, right? Because we're not dedicating some iron ore input to one material, right? As an example. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. Okay. Well, I'll connect up all of this. The reason I'm doing it wrong because after five, this needs to be split um, to a second line, but that's easy to fix. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. You don't need to do that, so instead, take this, ignore the fact that it's going to be clipping for just a minute. Okay, draw this backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Line this up. Um, and line this up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. And now we're going to be producing screws on the other side of this as well. So, oops, constructor. have to do the output side and the power. Okay. I don't know why that's not properly lined up. And it suddenly starts properly being lined up over there. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, merger. probably do it again um, just well I'll do some counting and then we won't connect the after five we'll leave a slight gap set this one up, yes. Okay, cool. And now it's just a matter of connecting the power. 
power. Backwards is slightly more difficult, but it's okay. Okay, pretty sure they all have what they need. So one, two, three, four, five. I just need to hook that in. Um, let's line this up. Cool. Excellent. So now we have the screw production figured out. Presumably it's being used in three locations, right? Is this still constructing? No. Is this still constructing? No. no. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's still coming at 240 here. It just looks like it's a lot less of the speed of our conveyor belts the speed all right um next level now we have a lot of materials this is reinforced plates so now we can pick and choose which lines we actually want to use So the reinforced plates, I'm going to leave two spaces for that. Put an assembler. I'll just put an assembler right there. Okay, we need plates and screws. And twice as many plates. Sorry, twice as many screws as plates. So, um, which one has the plates? Okay, so the plates is in the middle here, and then we have two screws on that side, all right? Okay. And... Okay. So that's all the output materials that I need. Um, and then we'll have to figure out how to split these to the next level. Um, one, two, three, is this enough? That's the question. Yeah, so this is fine. Alright, let's do the extremities here. Almost out of concrete. But I only have to put down one more level, like this is the last level and then it's well, then we also have to do like a storage kind of thing. But maybe that's best done um, near the top there. Okay, so floor hole. Okay. Wait, wait, 
get you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, maybe we should use screws like this. Okay, and then I guess the reinforced plates will be coming there. Okay, and then we'll do the splitter thing right here. This doesn't give me a lot of space. Hmm. Let's see, how much space would... Why is it that he split us wrong? Okay, let's see. We can always go... You know, further forward. Okay, and then it's going to be a bunch of foundations here for us to draw these down. start out with we'll line up the production maybe with these two and then have that screw input all right so assembler oh actually um, I want this to be different This actually needs to come up because what's going to happen here is we'll actually have have it like this, right? Okay, that's too close. This goes in like that, that goes in like that, right? And that's the screws. So that goes into there. We can make that a little bit nicer. Takes 
just like this. Why is that one different? Okay, then we have to create this guy. And, you know, essentially put a stackable onto this. It's the you know that sort of thing. I think I can just line this up properly. Yes. Okay, that's excellent. And then um, actually, I actually messed this up again, although not as badly because that can stay. That can stay, and it's just this that needs to change a little bit. Oops. Okay. That's good. Um, then it's a splitter. set that one up over there. Then the question is, well, we need power. Let's get power up here. of these and the after four we'll have to refresh the um, sorry after yeah after four three four reinforced 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 right let's do the output
I think it should be fine over time. It's just that we need to shove more iron ore in. Okay, there's a reinforced plate. Excellent. Alright, let's hook up these splitters. Second one is wants to be special. Isn't that by now? Okay. Okay, so they work like this. How about we just jam in a lot more of the iron ore in the bottom? now then we can figure things out later like once we like boost that production let's do that so at least we can see it all work <laughs> that data change because at the moment one of those produces 240 um, so I think we can just sort of connect all of them in where's the other ones this way. Ah, okay, cool. So, minor mark 2. So, output to there. Just take Power. Okay, where's the last one then? Okay, another one over here. That's confusing. like a cave or something. Hello. It's very confusing. Like right here. Yeah, let's see. Anyway, we've boosted it, we've doubled it. I'm not gonna worry about that last one for now. Do I happen to have any? No. Okay, I was wondering if I had any power shards or whatever. Don't I have some? Do you have that guy? Just what we can do, <coughs> craft bench. Let's make some of these. And there we go. Alright, 
that's what I like to see gen down production lines. Because <laughs> now it's all going to be producing at full range. And we just need to connect four more of those um, for up there, and then one more level with the modular frames. It doesn't mean that more material is going to arrive here. But. All right. up and we're not going to have enough to actually connect so how about we skip the modular frames for now we just get this hooked up all the way to the end at least One, two, three. get materials delivering you know that we can put those in here. seven of these left that sucks all right we're almost there here very very close so next time so I'm gonna have to finish there anyway next time what we'll do we'll make our way back um, right now and we start the episode right there next one um but yeah next time we will we'll actually do the modular frames i wasn't gonna do it this time because you know i was hoping we could finish things but we just don't have enough material here um and let's just put in what else we need here so yeah so let's put that to 12. don't need any more smelters Oops. Um, don't need that miner. We will need, yeah, probably another 400 here, 200 here. This is probably fine. I mean, we'll boost this back up to 100, 12, 
pretty sure that's it. Um, just takes. Oh man, we need a lot of these. 50. Could be 50. Foundations. Definitely like another 500 here. Alright. So that's what we'll need to grab at the start of the next episode. Um, so yeah, next time we'll finish this off, get the material delivering, uh, which will be quite exciting. Um, we have all of this hooked up in a good way now, um, where, you know, once we get the next level of the miner, we can actually get all of the iron ore materials into there. All right. Waiting for a train. It's gonna be a while because we've just had a train. Um, oh, there's there's a train that's coming back. So yeah, I think this would be good. Very good. And then we have a fresh supply of all of the. Um, all of the materials, the iron based materials. Um, sort of replenished at that level as well, so we don't you know have to lift it all the way from the bottom either. Um, we'll just be able to get it from right there. I think the what we need is the reinforced um, reinforced plates. I get to 20, 120 kilometers an hour quick enough. Just good. I wonder if the power consumption goes up on the uphill. Oh yes. Oh yes, it does. All right, we've got a pretty nicely spaced out train here as well, so that's good. materials that we need, collect them together. Uh, I don't think we actually need this material. No, there's only castings. This is the actual stuff that we need. Okay. Maybe we'll get a little bit more. What else? We need cables. Cables, plates, concrete. Okay. Let's grab the concrete. Oh, this is the wrong level. Actually, this would be a fine level. Because the cables should be available here. It's just plates, rods, and concrete. Now, I am going to be away for a while over the holiday period. I'm going to be traveling. I'll see if I can figure out a way to do some streaming, but I'm not sure if I will. Right, we can actually drop quite far here. Um, right, what are we making here? These the rods, yes, these are the rods. Let's grab a bunch of those. Okay. A bunch of iron plates. Oh, we should have grabbed the concrete. 
we have to take a hypertube up. Alright, we'll grab this one. Get a bit of concrete going here. Oh, well, this might have been the wrong one. Oh no, this is good. Very good. Alright. Cool. Lots and lots of concrete. And yeah, next time we'll come back, um, go back over there, finish off that iron ore production line. And then we'll be able to continue. So yeah, thank you for watching, and until